Well, it's another Halloween night. And I think this year I'll share the story about something that happened to me a few years back. I gotta say, in all my time adventuring, I haven't really had anything happen to me that's super strange or unusual. But this one probably comes the closest. And it just so happened that it was on a Halloween night, very late. So, where I was is at the time I was working uh, swing shift. So I didn't get off work until about 12.30 at night. And I really, for the longest time, had wanted to go camping. And I just, every weekend that came up, I just wasn't able to find time for it. So finally, there was this, uh, it actually wasn't a weekend. Um, I was working seven straight days and then had seven off at the time. And so it was my last day on, <clears throat> my first day going into my seven off. And I thought, I'm, I'm going to do this camping trip for sure. So um, it just so happened that that night, a Monday night, was also... October 31st Halloween night and I didn't really care at all I mean I didn't have any parties going on or anything at the time so I got off work at 1230 and I drove to a place called Mueller Park that's up above Bountiful in Utah and just started hiking I had all my gear ready and everything I was going to hike in just a little ways and then I was going to set up my camp and just go to sleep and you know enjoy a, a nice simple overnighter. So <clears throat> I was making my way up the trail probably about 1, 1 1.30 a.m. in the morning so I guess it was technically the, the night after Halloween but uh, I was going up I had gone through a couple of switchbacks and the trail up ahead went from a very tall pine forest to one that was a little bit more scrub oak and um, it opened up a lot more so as you can imagine this time of year there were leaves on the ground and i started walking ahead and the forest opened up and all I could see with my headlamp was maybe about 30 feet in front of me and then it just faded off into this darkness. And most people who do a lot of hiking can relate with this. But I was making my way through and suddenly up ahead I looked and probably what I could tell about 50 feet ahead of me I saw two glowing red dots about as far apart as my eyes are. And they were kind of a orangey red color. And I stopped and I figured it was, you know, some kind of reflection of maybe a piece of junk or something, or maybe a signpost, I wasn't sure. But I wasn't altogether scared at first. And it was enough to where the beam from my headlamp could go out and I could make out things maybe 10 or 20 feet in front of whatever I was seeing and then just darkness from there but I could distinctly see these two red orange dots and so I stopped and I I kind of moved my headlamp back and forth and I did have a firearm with me at this time so I I had my hand on my firearm and I was just kind of looking back and forth trying to figure out what was going on there and those two dots were completely frozen I mean no movement whatsoever and so you know of course I thought well maybe this is some kind of animal but it was so still I thought there's no way that can be an animal and after staring at it for maybe about 30 seconds I decided well I I need to figure out what this is so I started walking towards it and it was just about to come into my light just close enough to where I could make out what it was and before I could even think it suddenly moved like that and it made me jump 
and I kind of stepped back and then I saw it springing around and it turned out to be a deer. So, um, you know, not much excitement there, but one thing that was kind of unusual, especially with it being Halloween night, is I was looking at this deer and it stopped after jumping a little ways and it looked at me again and it definitely had orangey red eyes. Um, which I just figured was common for deer. But then I started looking around a little bit more and I noticed that there were actually several deer right there. And as I walked closer, their eyes began to shine back at me. And the strange thing is, all of their eyes were kind of a blue-white color. And then there was this one deer that had orange-red eyes. And it was just strange. I mean, I, I don't know that I was really afraid of the deer or thought it was some kind of possessed demon or whatever for Halloween night. I just thought it was very strange. So maybe some of you hunters out there can enlighten me what was going on there. But yeah, I looked around and sure enough, there was a herd of maybe 10 deer, all of which had the blue white eyes, except that one deer for whatever reason, just had those fiery eyes shining back at me. So at this point, I went from feeling afraid to feeling pretty good because now I had a bunch of eyes all around me that were looking out for predators. So I thought, hey, they seem to be sticking around and they don't seem to mind me being here. So I'm just gonna set up camp here. So I set up my tent and curled up in my sleeping bag and they continued to hang around for only maybe another half hour or so. But at least for that half hour, it felt pretty good having a bunch of eyes around keeping watch for me. So, again, not much to the story. I can't say that I really ran into any crazy or unusual things in the woods. I mean, real stuff like bears before, uh, that was a bad experience. But as far as the supernatural, I can't say that I've ever had a run-in with Bigfoot or anything that I couldn't really explain. That was certainly pretty unusual to see a deer with fiery eyes. So that's my story for Halloween. I hope you guys liked it. Until next time, this is Derek reminding you, you're working too hard. See you next time and happy Halloween.